what's happening ladies and gentlemen, what's happening my people, I hope everybody's fine, it's Kaz Kane again. Do you know what, I'm making another video again, it's about food. Right, as you know the first video I made, it was about stir fried cabbage and um, I'm sure a few people have already seen that one. Uh, basically if you go to YouTube and you press everyday life with Kaz Khan in Toronto from London, uh, England. Now there's another video coming out which I did uh, already make which is the um, best butter chicken. I made a beautiful butter chicken, very very nice. Creamy, tasty, very beautiful butter chicken, my style. Now, if you want to check about the butter chicken, you're going to go into Best Butter Chicken by Cas Khan from London, UK, Toronto. Now, today, what I'm doing, I'm going to make some lovely, lovely tandoori chicken. All right, I'm going to marinate it with yogurt, all the herbs, all the spices, as you can see, all the herbs are um, displayed here. I'm going to make a real nice mint sauce with roast garlic, fresh coriander, roasted fresh green chilies. All right, that's going to be the bollocks. It's going to be wicked, trust me. And then I'm going to make a um, salad as well with olive oil and um, everything and dress it all up. Now, as you can see, is the um, chicken. Okay, I've got five piece of leg and thigh, as you can see. And make sure you wash your hands again, ladies and gents, before you start cooking. I've already actually prepared it earlier. So what I did, I basically got the chicken. And what you're going to do, you're going to basically put a few lines right through here. Okay, just like this, very simple. The reason being is, you're gonna get all the spice go inside the meat and it's gonna, you know, everything's gonna get cooked very nicely. So I'm gonna do this chicken today in the oven, because I don't have a tandoor. It's very simple, very easy, doesn't take long at all, all right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna marinate the uh, tandoor chicken. So I'm gonna show you how it's all done. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the uh, natural yogurt, okay? You can put the natural Greek yogurt, whichever you, you, uh, one you want, but make sure it's natural yogurt. I'm gonna put, do you know what? I'm gonna put all of it in. There you go. That should be enough. So like I said, everything I'm using in my recipe, everything is fresh. I, I like to do it from zero. I don't like to do um, the shortcut business at all, you know what I mean? Okay, I've got the uh, yogurt. This is one of my favorite. Like I said, again, I make it myself. I don't buy it from the shop. I like to get the ginger, the garlic, and I like to make it myself. So that's ginger and garlic paste. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoon, maybe a little bit, I'll go three. How's that? That's not bad, a bit more. All right. Again, I'm gonna use mustard oil. You can use olive oil, you can use whichever oil you want, but you know, I prefer mustard oil with, um, if it's tandoori chicken, or if it's anything like um, chicken tikka and all that. Um, it's got a very, very strong smell to this and it's very powerful. So we've got to be careful with this one as well. So I'm going to go about, say, three. That should be enough. I don't want to make it too mustardy. All right. This is, again, fenugreek. I'm going to put it all in here. It's not too much, really. Black pepper, you've got to be careful. We don't want to put too much. I want a little wrinkle. That's enough. I don't want to make it too peppery. I'm gonna put quite a lot of um, tandoori powder, okay? Because it's a tandoori dish. So there's about three tablespoon at least in there. You see? Turmeric, about one teaspoon. That should be enough. I've got cumin, cumin powder. About say one tablespoon. I've got coriander powder, about two tablespoon. All right. I've got garam masala, I'm going to put, that should be enough, and chilli powder, about one tablespoon, maybe a bit more. That's it basically, and um, right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some salt, again remember be careful with salt, if you put too much, that's it, it's going to be messed up, if you put a bit less, you can always, you know, add it afterwards, so let's go, let's go tablespoon and a little bit more, don't want, don't want it too salty. Uh, remember, I mean, usually when we make tandoori chicken, you um, basically, what you're going to do, we use the tandoori paste. But I couldn't find a tandoori paste um, here, so I couldn't really basically do it. So next, I'm going to lemon juice, fresh lemon again, squeeze out all the juice, get all the juice in there. Don't want to put too much lemon, don't want to make it too sour, do we? All right, we just, we just need natural flavours. Squeeze it all in there. Okay, I've put all the lemon juice everything in, as you can see, I've put all the spice in. Now, guess what I'm going to do now? That's the exciting bit. 
I'm gonna get real dirty now, right? I'm gonna get my hands dirty, not me dirty, but my hands dirty. So if you come in here and you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna basically give you a nice mix. Proper, proper mix. All right? Proper, that's what we say in London. In Canada, sometimes they don't understand my accent. They get a bit muddled up, you know what I mean? As you can see there. Now, the other thing I don't do is I don't use colorings. You know, a lot of people like to use colorings. I hate it. I like everything to be natural. Do you know what I mean? Especially on tandoori chicken, you know what they do? They like to put the red color. In chicken tikka, they put a bit of orange color. I don't like no colorings. So as you can see, it's getting all gooey. All right. I need to just put my sleeve up a bit, mate. See, I'm getting my hands all dirty. <laughs> That's the nice bit, isn't it? I bloody hate this bit, but it's got to be done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to marinate this as I'm doing. I'm going to leave it in the um, in this pot, uh, bowl for about two, three hours at least. Usually I'll leave it a day before, but you know what? I'm hungry, so I'm gonna, after two, three hours, I'm going to put it in the oven. So all the flavor is going to get in the meat. It's going to soak in. Okay. Okay, guys. So now, now what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, marinate the chicken already three hours, which is excellent. It's looking good. It's all sitting in properly. So I'm going to put it in the um, tray. Wow, that smells wicked, man. Wow, that smells really nice. So I'm just going to put it on the tray. All the flavors have gone in. And what you're going to do once you put it in the oven? After 10 minutes or so, you're going to turn it around, okay? You're going to turn the chicken around to the other side, okay? I like my chicken to be well done, nice and crispy outside, and nice and moist inside, alright? Right, now I'm going to put it in the oven, alright? You're going to put it about, say, 180 Celsius, okay? And you're going to cook it for about, say, 25, 20 minutes to 30 minutes, up to you, how you want it. I like it well done, like I said. I like it to be nice and crispy outside and nice and tender inside, all right? And every 10 minutes, you're gonna turn it around, all right? And you're gonna see how it's um, getting cooked. Lovely. Okay, now, ladies and gents, I'm gonna make uh, this lovely mint sauce, all right? And I love this mint sauce. In this mint sauce, you're gonna use quite a lot of coriander. Coriander has got a lovely, lovely, fresh fragrance and smell. I love coriander. And like I said before in my last video, you see the root? This is the bit. That's where all the flavor is. That's where all the um, fragrance is. So I'm going to use the root, I, I, I never like to throw the root away. Okay, I mean that should be enough because I'm not making so much mint sauce. Okay, that's lovely. I can smell that fragrance coming at the um, coriander from it. it's so beautiful. Now, garlic and fresh green chilli. Depends how, how hot you want it. Now what I've done earlier, I've actually roasted this chilies as you can see. It's got a nice little burn on the sides. And you can just get a pan out like this. You can put the fire low gas and just put it on the pan. No oil, nothing, and you're just gonna basically um, roast it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna peel off the skin quickly. I love the smell of roasted garlic. It's so beautiful. Mm. Sometimes what I do, I make a tomato, See, I'm going to cut this as well into small pieces. I don't really want too much chilli in there. You see that? So I think I'm going to use about one or two. I don't want to make it too hot. Everything has been roasted. Well, I don't want to make it too spicy. Lovely. Next, I'm going to get the, uh, the mixer machine out. The blender. It is so simple, this is so simple. Alright, I'm going to get all of that in there. See that? Garlic, coriander, chilli. I'm going to make a little bit, I'm not going to make it too much. Okay. That's it, simple. I'm going to put a little bit of yoghurt in there. Sorry about this. Sugar. Okay, I'm gonna put 
one, two. Let's put two, two and a half for the time. We need more, we can put more. All right. All right. Next, I'm gonna do. As you can see, I'm mixing the. Uh, Okay, so that's all mixed. Make sure there's no pieces left. Nice, so that's gonna go in the yogurt. Lovely. So everything's in there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna basically mix the yogurt with that sauce. So what did I put in there? I put fresh coriander, roast garlic, roast chili. That's all it is. Now this mint sauce has got a little kick. Then goes the mint. All right. And again, you're gonna give it a little mix. So now basically what people do, they just put some sugar and yogurt and a bit of fenugreek. Now, that's not the right way, that's not the right way, trust me, this is the right way. Oh my God, that is beautiful, that is lovely. It's got a nice little kick because of the chili, all right? But that is wonderful. I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar, that should be enough. Got a really, really, really good little kick in there. I'll put one chili. It's a bit too hot for me at the moment, but it's all good if you like hot. Okay. That's your mint sauce. That's the way it should look. See, I'm not using no colours, nothing. Everything is um, natural herbs and spices. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some salad. So you can get some uh, spring mix or the greenery. I like to get organic. All my salads, all my veg, everything's organic, tomato, so I need everything. All right, so I'm gonna make a little salad to go with my tandoori chicken. So I'm gonna cut some red onion. Find pieces. All right, that should be enough. Okay. I'm gonna just break it in like this and put it in there. Lovely. Okay, this cucumber. Fine pieces. Lovely. All in there. Tomatoes. Depends how many you want. Okay. Break it all up. I don't want too much tomatoes. Okay, and you're gonna squeeze the uh, lemon juice in there. Again, remember, salt, lemon juice, it's up to you how much you want. No, I don't like too much salt in my food. Right. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of salt in there. That should be enough for me. And make sure you, you put some extra virgin olive oil. Okay. That should be enough. I'm gonna give it a little mix. Salt is in there. Virgin oil is in there. Lemon juice, everything in there. You got the cucumber, you got the lemon, you got the red onion. That's it. I mean, you can put some olives. It's up to you if you want. It's up to you, whatever you want. I don't want to put no olives. See, basic. And then, that's the salad done. 
right, now I'm going to get it out and see one side how it's been done. So I've kept it in about 15 minutes to be honest. That's not too bad. So now I'm going to turn it around, so make sure the other side gets cooked. So well, be careful, make sure you don't burn your hands. The smell is unbelievable at the moment. It's so beautiful, the smell. All right. Remember, I like it crispy outside, nice and moist and tender inside. All right. So put it back in the oven. Okay, so now, last and final, I believe it's all done. I'm going to get it at the oven now. That's, see that? That is perfect. Nice and crispy outside. Okay, okay. ladies and gentlemen, this is the final bit. Look at this. This is fucking awesome, isn't it? It looks beautiful. Look at the presentation and everything. Here's the mint sauce. Garlic roast, garlic mint sauce. Nice, authentic salad. Look how it looks. It looks beautiful. Right, now it's my best bit. I'm going to give it a try. And see how it comes out, all the flavours and everything. Give me a little try. Let me go for the drumstick. Let me taste that um, meat sauce. Wow, this is fucking awesome, man. This is fucking wicked. It's really nice. I'm not bluffing. Really nice and crispy outside. Nice and moist inside. I'm gonna try a bit more. Just the um, chicken with vitamin sauce. So I want to get the I want to get the flavour. Let me just get the flavour. Let me see how it tastes. The chicken has on its own. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's a dog's fucking bollocks. That's fucking wicked. Trust me, that's wicked. That's really nice. All right, let me try the salad as well. Mmm. You see, time and effort, that's what you're going to get. Proper food, healthy, nice, not too hot, not too spicy. All the spices there, as you can see, all the spices there, all the flavours are there. Nice crispy outside, nice and moist inside. The salad's giving it a nice little crispy kick. Really fresh, really crispy. It's got a bit of uh, fresh lemon sour taste and a crispy crunch to it as well. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see, see you very soon. Uh, if you guys want to find me, as you know, uh, on YouTube, you'll find me on Best Tandoori Chicken by Kaz Khan from London, UK. And um, yeah, that's it for today. So I hope everybody's fine. And if you did like the video, give you a big like. Make sure you subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook on uh, Kaz Khan or Instagram with Kaz Khan 006 UK. Like, James Bond, you know what I mean? <laughs> 007, no, it's 006 UK. God bless, love you all, thank you for watching, and see you guys later. Take care, bye.